In this video, I will review how to write a reading letter to Mrs. Connect in your reading notebook. Turn to part two of your reading notebook. In this section, you will write your independent reading responses. This section is for responding to what you read independently. Responses are usually written in letter form to your teacher. So today we are going to write a letter to our teacher about the book we are reading with a sentence for each of the five fingers in the five finger retail. Turn to the next blank page in part two of your reading notebook. I am writing all of this in purple, but you do not need to copy this letter in your reading notebook. I want you to watch me model how to complete this assignment so you can feel confident doing it on your own too. Put today's date in the top right hand corner. Then add your greeting, which should be, Dear Mrs. Connect, comma, skip a line and then write me a sentence about the book you are reading. I'm going to choose Misty of Chincoteague to write a letter about, since we're all familiar with it. But you're going to write me a letter about the book you're reading right now, or have just recently finished in the last two days. You could write, I am reading Misty of Chincoteague, or I just finished Misty of Chincoteague. Be sure to underline the name of the book's title and capitalize all the major words that are in the title of your book too. Now we will use the five finger retail to write five to eight or more sentences about the book I am reading or just finished. If the order is a little different, no worries. My goal is for you to have written about each finger in one sentence within your letter. If they're out of order, no problem. For this letter, I'm going to start with the setting. I could write, the setting of the story is on two islands off the coast of Virginia. Now that set sentence definitely explains the setting, but could I go into a little bit more detail? Yeah, I sure could. And I encourage you to do the same. Think about how you could do it for your book too. I could write a little bit more about those islands. I could add on and say, the setting of the story is on two islands off the coast of Virginia. Assateague is the island where all the wild ponies roam. No people actually live there. Chincoteague is the island nearby behind it. This is where the BBs live. And there's the BBs. Now I'm going to write a sentence about the characters. I could say something like, Paul and Maureen are brother and sister living with their grandparents on a pony ranch. Phantom is a wild pony that Paul and Maureen are hoping to own. I could write a sentence about grandpa and grandma and the fire chief too if I really wanted to, but the fact is they really aren't the main characters of the story, so focus your letter on the main characters and don't stress about including everybody. Next is the problem of the story. I've run out of room on my first page, so continue writing the letter on the next page. I could write, the problem in the story is that Phantom is wild and has never been caught before. Paul and Maureen have to save up enough money to buy the Phantom. There they are working hard, right? Now let's think of the main events of the story. The beginning, middle, and ending. That's what the BME stands for. Think about only the major stuff that happens. You do not have to go into super detail, but I do want you to include enough to show me that you truly understand your book. In the beginning, Paul and Maureen work really hard doing odd jobs to save up $100 to buy the Phantom. Paul rides on Pony Penning Day. Here he is, dun dun dun, and discovers that Phantom has a baby. He is able to round up both Phantom and Misty. On the swim across the channel, Misty is caught in a whirlpool and Paul jumps in to save her. Maureen watches from the shore and is so proud of her brother. In the middle, Paul and Maureen learn that Misty and Phantom have already been sold to someone else. They are devastated when the raffle winner realizes that he wants the pony he won more than the one he bought, Misty, the fire chief lets Paul and Maureen know that they can buy the Phantom and Misty after all. In the end, Paul races Phantom in the big race and wins the following year. But after a while, Paul and Maureen realize that even though they love the Phantom and the Phantom loves them, that she misses home and she wants to be wild again. Finally, we have the solution. 
This is how the story ends up, how the problem is fixed or resolved. For Misty of Chincoteague, the solution is that Paul and Maureen decide to let Phantom go free, and she wins, she swims back to Assateague. But Misty, Misty stays on Chincoteague because that's where she would rather be. Misty wants to stay with the BBs. I realize we wrote a lot for this red letter, and it filled up several pages, but I know you can too. Try your best, and remember to add a closing and a signature to the end of your letter. In future letters, I will ask more about your own thoughts regarding your book. But for this letter, I really want you to focus on your sentences being about the five-finger retail so that we can become familiar with it and very comfortable using it for retelling and remembering what we've read in the future. The five-finger retail also keeps our thoughts organized so that we can make paragraphs for each of our fingers. And don't forget your closing and signature. Now it's your turn. Write a letter to me about the book you're reading right now or recently finished within two days. I require a minimum of five complete sentences in your letter. But like my example, you can do way more. If writing the letter by hand is difficult for you, I'm open to you typing your letter on a Google Doc and sharing it with me. But you must include all of the elements we discussed, whether you do it by hand or you type it. If you're in the middle of your book, I recognize that you may not have the answer for the ending or the solution, but you should be able to write a sentence for the other fingers, and this will let me know that you really understand what you read. If you're reading a too hard book and don't understand what you're reading, writing a letter about it will not be fun. So please make sure you're reading a just right book so that this is not overwhelming for you. When you come back to school, you will get to read me your letter and we can discuss it together. I can't wait to read your reading letters.